everybody, Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to Boardwalk Hall at the famed Atlantic City Boardwalk in Southern New Jersey for our main event of the evening. 12 rounds of heavyweights between these two great warriors. Povetkin is approaching the ring now, and this ring walk can tell you so much. Look at the focus on his face. He's making his way down to the ring, and he does so with a confidence where he knows he put all the hard work in, and he's ready to explode inside those ropes. His opponents in the blue corner, please welcome the Warrior. All right, guys, remember this. Obey my commands at all times. It's been a good, clean fight. Touch him up. 36 minutes still ahead of him here, round one of 12. We expect a high work rate among these two fighters. Now, do you want to see that same work rate throughout the whole fight? You, or is that your expectation? I'd love to because we'd be having a good time and our fans, they're going to enjoy it. Some fine fundamentals, good counterpunch. Nice mousetrap They let him in beautifully. He didn't use cheese, he used distance. Keeping his hands up, getting rid of his opponent's offense. Povetkin's making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. What happened to the get to know you? They're getting to know each other real quick here. Unbelievable. I feel like I'm at a fancy restaurant and we've already had four courses and the chef came out and said, hey, don't be full yet. You got eight more to go. been a recent trend, Teddy, where we've seen in the heavyweight division a lot of Eastern Europeans dominating. Why do you think that is? Same thing in basketball. I don't think they're the better athletes, but you know what? There's an urgency. There's a real hunger. This is their opportunity. The fighters over here and the basketball players for that part, they have too many options here. Over there, they make the most of it, and fundamentally, they're very sound. Fires off the combination there and it lands. Last 10 seconds of this first round. End of the round here. And as I glance around ringside and look at the judges, I'm wondering what they're writing down because that was a tough round to score. Yeah, it was. And, you know, it's the kind of round where one guy would be really smart to take a page out of the book of Sugar Ray Leonard, Marvin Hagler, where Leonard stole rounds at the end, where he just clipped off 30 seconds, and that's exactly what the judges remembered. Very nice defensive guard there. Throws a counter punch there. Nice 
block that time. It was intended to the head. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Blocks that belt line well. Accurate jab brings the right hand. Keeping his hands up, getting rid of his opponent's offense. Holy cow! He got caught by that right hand. He never saw it coming. He may be looking to clinch here. Come on, guys. Punch it out. Punch it out. No holding. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Good defense, just covering up down low. Boy, that's a heck of a job there, landing a three-punch combination. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. Ten seconds to go in this round. Comes right back with a shot of his own. Back to fight action as a new round is underway. Of course, in that last round, it was fairly one-sided. He was hit pretty hard, and now he has to overcome that here. Yeah, you don't have to be Notre Dame to know that. I mean, everybody saw, you know, he got staggered, his knees buckled, did a little dance there. But what you have to really know now is know why you got hit and correct that immediately. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Boy, he's really getting off with his punches and multi-numbers here. A hook for you, and a hook right back. Good block. And you see he turned defense into offense, comes back with the counter punch. And that's exactly what he brings to the game. He makes you miss, he makes you pay, and he makes you think twice about throwing a punch later on. Pavetkin's favorite punch is the jab, and tonight he's loving it. Well, the jab is the table setter, Joe, and he set a beautiful table tonight. Napkin on the left, you know, small fork on the left, knife on the right, and the food right in the middle. And he's eating all you take, night. You taking some English etiquette classes? <laughs> you getting hungry? there. Ovetkin's opponent has to find a way to close that gap. He can't just let him control this fight from the outside. And the way he's got to do it is first of all... Get oh, that's got to hurt. He did not see that right hand at all. He may want to tie up. 
Come on now, guys. Come on. Keep busy. Keep busy. Oh, what a great ability to recover. to the end of this round. Joe and Teddy with you ringside. Teddy, a round like that where it's a lot of busy activity and both guys being busy. When you were a trainer, are those the kind of rounds that you prefer or do you like the pace to be a little slower? Does it depend on each guy? No, if I have a fight, I'd rather have a guy fighting a guy that you never see him. <laughs> Leave me the heck alone. And where I'm in control all the time. But the fans love to see a fight like that. Blocks away that headshot. So swiftly able to turn defense into offense. Nice counter punch. And what you're noticing here is his opponent is starting to be a little wary of letting his jab go because every time he jabs, he gets caught. You always say punchers are born, Teddy. But what about a guy's ability to withstand big punches? What about a guy's chin? You know, that's an interesting point. Part of it is physical, and you know what it is? It's the neck. That's the shock absorber, but most of it's mental. You have to want to take the punches. You have to will yourself through the punches. This guy has some will. There it is! A destructive right hand by Pavetkin. Blocks that punch. into offense comes back with the counter punch and that's exactly what he brings to the game he makes you miss he makes you pay and he makes you think twice about throwing a punch later on parries that punch intended for the head Turn the sender with the left hand. Good defense, just covering up down low. Ten clicks of the talk. Fires right back at him. That worked out really well. Throw it off the right hand after getting tagged like that. End of the round is upon us. And if the next round holds up like that, we're going to be in for a real treat. No, we will be because both these guys have the philosophy that their best defense is their offense. job landing that counter punch getting away from one that was coming at him what guts it takes what commitment it takes to keep up with this kind of a pace the action's been non-stop now the one thing i can tell you is this is where you don't worry about pace you don't think about pace otherwise you could not be doing what these guys are doing they're just going round to round opponent wanted the body, he wouldn't give it to him. 
great fight. I mean, just a great fight. Both guys giving their all back and forth. It doesn't get much better. Another flush shot lands upstairs. Halfway through this round. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Good job protecting himself. Oh, and you can see now he's starting to target that jab with more and more confidence. Great show by these two. What an entertaining bout this has been. Neither man willing to give up an inch and giving everything they've got. So it's like that old song. Whatever you can do, I can do better. That's how they're challenging each other. Doubling up the jab now. Oh, and he comes back with an uppercut there after getting hit. Get out of the way from those punches. Stop that head. Good looking counter punch. Final 10 seconds of this fifth round. Making predictions in boxing is often a dangerous task, but I'll make one right here that seems pretty obvious to me as we come to the end of that round here. This fight is going to be a brutal display as long as it lasts. It's kind of like going and watching that home run contest. Nobody's trying to hit singles or doubles. You know they're all going for the fences. They start up again. Back to action here with another round. But who knows how much longer it'll last. This has been a completely one-sided fight. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Use the jab. Use your feet. Head Another flush shot to the head. He's showing very good footwork. He's showing fine defensive movement here. But as for the opponent, how do you solve that? Well, you got to make believe you're a football player. You got to make believe you're a linebacker in football. You go down the line with that running back. You don't go following him around the place. You make sure you move laterally. That's exactly what he's got to do. He's got to cut that ring down, take space away. Assume there has to come a point in this fight where he has to make the commitment to throw the power punches. It's hard to envision a way he's going to win this fight without going down that road. He doesn't have the confidence to do it. I don't know if he's mentally strong enough to do it. I think he's worried about throwing hard at the guy because maybe in his mind that means the guy will throw hard back at him. Scores with the combo to the head. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Keeping his hands up, getting rid of his opponent's offense. Solid job. Double connects by Pavetkin. Wow, just sit back and enjoy this one. You can tell both guys are so determined to give everything they have here tonight. So it's like the first time you heard Ray Charles sing God Bless America. You knew it was special. You knew you hadn't heard it before. I haven't seen anything like this before. And there he counters back against his opponent. Good-looking counterpunch. Locks 
the headshot. Last 10 seconds. Guard your head. He's tired. Round comes to an end. And that's one of those rounds, Teddy, that just takes on a certain style, a certain characteristic. And that was a busy one. Yeah, it was a busy one. Look, Joe, you don't have to look for these guys. They're right there in front of you. Why do you think that is? Why do you think sometimes you just get those rounds where it all happens? Because of styles. You know, styles make fights. In this case, you're seeing proof of that right there. Both guys that are aggressive, both guys that are very confident. And it's a left hand. Blocks that punch. And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. Staying away from the danger there. <laughs> Scores with the combo to the head. And now he's having his way with the jab. That little double jab there. Boom, boom. End of the round here. And as I glance around ringside and look at the judges, I'm wondering what they're writing down because that was a tough round to score. Yeah, it was. And, you know, it's the kind of round where one guy would be really smart to take a page out of the book of Sugar Ray Leonard, Marvin Hagler, where Leonard stole rounds at the end where he just clipped off 30 seconds, and that's exactly what the judges remember. Able to counter that attack. Povetkin showing that he doesn't have any head movement defensively whatsoever. What else is there, Teddy? Well, there's legs. Start using your legs a little bit. Get out of range. One way or the other, get out of the other man's talking place. Stop action fight this has been. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Very accurate with the double jab. 
the halfway point of round number eight. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Very nice defensive guard there. Get away from that headshot with the block. They both decide to bring it. And he scores again. after catching one by Pavetkin. Let's get on that swelling. The action starts up again, but it's only favored one man. Hard to see this fight going the distance based on what we've witnessed so far. He's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. A headshot blocked. Fine fundamentals, good counterpunch. Nice mousetrap there, he let him in beautifully. He didn't use cheese, he used distance. ovetkin has got to deal with a cut on his cheek right now. The good news is it's below the eye, but still, it could get nasty as the fight progresses. Look and counter punch. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Pavetkin. game paying off you can see the counter punch yeah you see the counter punch but you know what i see i see a little tentativeness now in him because he's afraid to let anything go because when he misses bang it gets caught I mean, great stuff. Bring it in. A series of power shots, and he is hurt. The thing here right now is he's not disrupting his own offense. He's keeping just enough distance to keep those hands moving. Last 10 seconds of the ninth round. Keep working the game. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. So we come to the end of the round. And clearly a confidence booster for this man. He got to his opponent. He was able to stun him. Teddy, when a fighter comes back after doing what he just did, do you see them almost light up, like get a little boost of energy because of that? Yeah, it does build your confidence a little bit. You know, it makes you feel more secure. I can control this man. 
I had my way. Blocks away that headshot. There he is, landing a combo. away. Watch the headshot. Some fine fundamentals. Good counter punch. Nice mouse trap day. Let him in beautifully. He didn't use cheese. He used distance. Lovetkin's doing exactly what he told us he would do. Now, he was stunned earlier in this fight, but he's sticking to that game plan. You know, I like that. You know, I want to see how a guy behaves under pressure. He hasn't panicked, you know. He still believes in his identity, believes in his talents, his abilities, and he's going to stay that way unless the guy convinces him later on. Blocks that punch. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. A headshot blocked. And there he counters back against his opponent. to another very entertaining round in what has been a very entertaining fight. A fight where there's just bad intentions. The fight that just doesn't have the feel of a fight that's going to be a decision win for somebody. Looks like somebody's going to get stopped. Right from the beginning, they've been fighting with desperation. Like, going the decision, as you just touched on, has not been in their minds at all. Job protecting himself. the sport, Teddy. I mean, this is just back and forth action non-stop. Well, Joe, what special events have happened in history, you remember where you are. Right now, I'm going to remember where I was during this fight. I'm watching a special epic right in front of me. Glad to be here doing it, too. What a war this is. <laughs> Give it 
take, and here comes the left hand. And another jab comes in. We got an interesting fight here. It looks like one man is seemingly in control, but the other is still live, is still game, is still capable. It may need to hit that jackpot, though. Well, he probably does need that knockout, so right now he has to adjust his game plan, his thinking a little bit. He's got to look for a spot to land one big shot, maybe when he's pulling out. Punch intended for the head. Well done that time, landing the counter punch. Oh, and look at this, Teddy, wasting no time getting to know each other. No, they came right to the center ring, said hello. <laughs> Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. Keeping his hands up, getting way of his opponent's effort. cheek, but it's something that needs to be monitored. What a great round. Two minutes in, 60 seconds to go. Halfway through what is one of the best rounds you'll ever see. Just great action. No, it's unbelievable. I mean, if you love roller coasters, you go to an amusement park. If you want to see left hooks, right hands, every direction, great chins, great endurance, great heart, you come to this fight. You stay right here. Well done that time, landing the counter punch. Which way did it go? That is the question everybody wants Ladies the answer to. The, the man with the answer is standing in the ring, and here he is. Your winner, the Warrior. He's your winner by a unanimous decision. And that was a surprise right there. Coming into this fight, we thought we'd see maybe a knockout. But no, we wound up getting a strategic fight. For Teddy Atlas, I'm